Hi, Jillian. It's good to see you. Good to see you. What are we going to do today? Uh, we got to look at our butterfly garden that we planted a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And we're going to reassess it and maybe add some more plants to it. Um, this is the parsley. Of course, parsley is a biannual and okay. it's gone to seed. So we'll let a few of these seeds, you know, drift to the ground to maybe germinate for next year. Uh, we've got, still have our, our butterfly weed, which is nice. Um, they do have some aphids <laughs> in them, unfortunately. And uh, then we also have our some a few weeds here yeah, that need mare's to be taken tail. out. All we right. have our sedum that will uh, that will uh, bloom in the fall, and we have our oregano that seems to be still blooming. So mm -hmm. when they stop blooming, that's when we'll cut off all the seed heads of that. But since it's blooming, it's uh, it's still we're going to leave that for now. Okay. And of course, then on the end, we have a whole lot of the aster. Yes. Uh, but it really likes the soil in this bed, and so it's kind of taken over. So we've got to take it under control and divide it, and then we can share the uh, divisions. Okay. Uh, and there's a little bit of sage over here, too, that's left. <laughs> so we will start working on this and getting it under control, and then hopefully plant some more plants. Okay. So you cutting those all the way back, huh? We got some parsley coming up that's new, so we'll leave that. Hopefully some of these seeds will come back this next year. And it looks like we have some of our poker plant oh, still yeah. here. So yay, we'll leave that. That'll bloom in the spring. It's time to get out the shovel to, to divide the uh, aster. In our soils here, this aster um, doesn't really yep. grow wild like this. Uh, our soils are really heavy and thick, and they tend to, uh, they don't uh, get as wide. But this soil in here is so nice and loose that this has gone a little bit wilder than it does in the, in the ground. There you go. That's an awful lot of dirt on that. There you yeah. go. Very happy here. Let's get a, yeah, let's try get to get it. this out so the sage can get some okay. light. Ah, uh, yeah. Come on, get out. You know you like it in there. All right, bless you. And that's our little sand. It's the butterfly beach. Butterfly's beach. And even though this does bloom, I want the butterflies to be able to see their little beach. Their little beach. So I'm just going to cut some of this back. Right. See if I can get that out. And then we'll place their, their little beach right. back. They like to sip the water and then they like to sun themselves on the rocks around it. See, they couldn't see it. So they couldn't That's see it. It was buried. <laughs> now that we've gotten all of the dead and overgrown plants out of the way, it's time to add some new ones. Uh, so we're going to add some some new ones in here. Some that were in here before that seem to have disappeared and uh, and a new one. Okay. Here is some Gallardia. This yeah. was in here before, but it has disappeared. So we need to add this to the garden. Okay. And I'm thinking he needs to be planted right here. All right. Then this is, we had a cone flower before. It was yeah. purple. This one is yellow. And here is a, a tip. This, this is okay. It's not uh, too dry. It's a little bit too wet. It doesn't like to be in this container. It's uh, a little bit of root bound. Uh -huh. And it, it doesn't like to be too wet. So it's going to be happy to put in here. Uh, in a, a drier situation. Oh. So we'll plant him in the back right here on the south side. It'll be nice and dry. Nice and dry for <laughs> him. Uh, something else that was in here oh. that uh, has disappeared is this uh, Russian sage. The, yeah. It blooms real, real pretty. And so we're going to plant that in here. It's got okay. some nice blooms. I forgot we had that in there. Yeah, we have that yeah. in here. And lastly, something that we had in here that has disappeared is Monarda. Monarda. This yeah. is a pink Monarda. And we will plant that in here also. Good. And then our garden will be complete. Good. 
right. I guess we get to work, right? Now we get to work. Ah, oh, look what we have here. Hey, buddy. A butterfly already hey, on buddy. the harder. He says, oh, I like that one. Pretty good. Just give us a minute, all right? <laughs> give us a minute. These have been watered pretty good. Yeah. Now our butterfly flame can come back. Oh wow. Look at this. They got a lot nice. of circling roots. So we're gonna we're gonna try to make them stop doing that. Just take a few places around here. Very healthy plant. All right. That will probably like the drier soil. Oh yeah, it will. Dry it is. It's pretty dry. We'll have to water everything in, but then it can dry out between waterings. We have some butterfly weed seeds that we wanted to add in this small corner to get some more butterfly weed in here. And so I'm going to plant them here just in this corner and we'll see what comes up this next year. And we don't need the pods, but we do need the seeds. Need the seeds, right? The fluffy stuff will decompose and act as organic matter. Oh, nice. So we'll just kind of Lightly cover, cover them up, them up yeah. lightly, and there we go. Well, look at that. Now we got uh, filled in the spots. With the garden is looking good again, and we're already attracting butterflies. Already, they can't wait. Yes, yeah, some of them. Yeah, they can't they're, wait. They're, it's, it's, I see uh, you. We'll get some water in their bath and uh, water the plants in, and we'll be ready. You ready to go? Thank you much, y'all. You're welcome. Fun as always. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.